Right. Um, here we have the Volvo FH12. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I unboxed this one. Um, it was bought off eBay. Uh, sorry, off Facebook on one of the um, to my pages, and we're gonna basically completely uh, change it. So what we've done, about well, what I've done so far, um, is gone over a few of the um, parts and that. Um, and one of the things I really wanted to check was if it works. So what I did yesterday, um, took it down the shed. Uh, put one of my receivers in for one of my controllers and the ESC and everything so I could you know run it give it a test and unfortunately there was no power going to the rear axle basically the gearbox is running but there's no nothing coming out to the shaft to the rear wheels now use it's happened to me once or twice where the bar coming from the gearbox, the drive shaft, um, the little you know screw nut you put in has come loose. Uh, but it's not that. So something in the gearbox is not working. Even when I pull it in first, second, and third gear, it's not working properly. So the chances are the gearbox has not been built properly, um, because this has never been run. The person who built it built it for display purposes. Did that? He didn't have no attention of, um, you know, using it as a RC model. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I am gonna today in this video take a good look at this gearbox, take it apart, and hopefully we'll solve the problem. I don't think it's anything too serious. Like I said, I think it's just where it's not been put together right. Um, and like I said, it's not selected in first, second, or third. There's no drive whatsoever. So, what I'm going to do is crack on, get the cab off, get the gearbox out, and we'll go for now. Okay, so I've got the um, gearbox out of the chassis. I, I will speed up the video so it didn't take so long. Um, very simple to take a load. You got to remove the cab and um, the area above it, but that's fine. That was easy enough. Some point this motor will be replaced with um, one of the poison motors that I put in all my trucks. Um, at this stage, Tamiya was still doing these motors. I think it's since the Arox Mercedes Tipper, they've started putting. Um, I had torque motors in or something like that, but it's turning around in that. I can hear it turning. Um, is the motor turning? So no, the motor's not actually turning when I'm doing that, which, yeah, that's basically what it's doing. If I pull it in a different gear and pull it out gear, yeah. So that is pretty much not working as it should. So I'm going to have to take the casing off. Um, I've put some tissue down just because if he's um, put some grease in that it will get quite messy. I don't want to get a table messy. Um, so let's uh, get this sorted. I will just adjust the camera a little bit so I can see. There we go. Right. So you got, I think that's five screws to undo. Um, it doesn't seem like too much Loctite's been used on this. Um, on the actual lorry itself. But like I said, the lorry's going to have a complete rebuild eventually anyway. Um, the plans are to absolutely completely... Um, it's it's going to be completely changed, transformed. Let's put all the screws and bolts to one side so I don't lose them because this will be put back together straight away. Um, I have got some grease up here. I bought most of my tools up that I use doing these lowers. Missing a few of my screwdrivers by feet they're down in the Fiat 500 because I was doing work on that over the winter. No, I haven't been down that since. There we go, one more. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see 
there's obviously some are not connecting right. Um, with this, oh, there we go. Right, let's, let's get them out of the way. We don't need them at the moment. Before we take a look, let's make sure all the screws are away. Um, and the bolts. Right, there we go. It's a nice little motor as you can see. There we go. Um, so, let's have a look. Let's see if I can do this showing you at the same time. That's working. Ah, right. So, it's basic, very basic, but what has happened is the motor has not been screwed in the right place. So, it, it's turning, but, sorry, let me see if I can show you. It's turning, but not making any contact with the cogs. That's all it is. I thought it might be something simple, because when I started turning this just now, um, it's quite stiff. It's been oiled up, and um, it's been you know greased up enough. It's quite stiff in places. But yeah, that's the problem. So all we have to do um, is basically that. <laughs> that's it. Um, I don't want to turn it too much because I put stress on the motor, but there we go. See, it's working now. It's moving with the motor, that gold cog. And that's what you need. Now, I do have a battery. But it might get a little messy. We'll see how we go. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it works. Um, that's all I wanted to just use the battery for, just to make sure that it does turn all the stuff. So yeah, that that's it. So basically, what happened was let me get the screwdriver. This screw here was too high, so the motor wasn't placed down onto this, onto the gears and everything. And that meant that when the motor was working, this gear here was not touching this. Which means that's not running that, not running that, and that's not even working properly. So, easily fixed. That's all it was. Um, I knew it was going to be something simple. Um, I was dreading it being somewhere where like maybe it's had a problem with one of the gears and it's just completely grinded the gear away but no so that is absolutely great news whilst I'm here I better make sure the um, all the gears work so I always have mine locked in the first gear which is that one I believe I can't remember now uh, I was hoping to turn it to try it but not but the gearbox it has been built good you know I'm, I'm not seeing any problems with that so that's that's all good um, I can't spin it unfortunately I can do that so I can't remember how I lock mine uh, our what gears are um, is that nothing's ever perfect so yeah I, I'm basically doing what I do to all my trucks and that's make it so it's always in one gear. Now, Tamaya give you the option for this anyway. Um, so what you get is, if I've got two gear, um, these little clips. Don't drop them, Jake. <laughs> um, don't know if you can see them there. Two little clips. And all you do is push it forward like that and clamp them in. And there you go. That's all it is. And that keeps it in the uh, first gear then, which is, you know, what I want. Um, because we run them in the house, and, that, and especially with this motor, it's, it's a very powerful motor when you pull it in the top gear. Um, it'll turn into, you know, an RC race car, basically. Which asks the question, why did Tamiya, Tamiya use this motor so long with these trucks? They've only just recently started using torque down motors. Um, right, let's put it back together. I don't have to grease it up, so that's great. 
that's one um, thing I don't have to do. Uh, right, so that goes on like that. And then this one goes on this side. And there we go, that's it. So let's put some of the bolts in. Go, make sure I get my screwdriver. Um, you can check out how to build one of these gearboxes on YouTube. There's plenty of people who's you know done the full build of a lorry and the gearbox and that. I probably will do it eventually. It's having the time to do the video, the space and the editing and that you know some of these videos t can take ages to edit uh, especially when I was doing me and Mike's doing the stickers on the Fiat 500 um, which that took some editing because I wanted to do some stuff in that video as well but we do have plans for some great new videos including I said to him last night about rebuilding um, a one-fifth scale McLaren RC car turn it into a proper RC car with a lot of power, so that'd be interesting. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that, you know, subscribe. And I don't know when we'll be doing it. It won't be far away. It'll be this year because you know the car's just taking up room in the workshop, and it's taking up room that I need. So if we get it sorted, it'd be taking up room where I can actually use. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's no point in having somebody taking up room that doesn't work or doesn't have a purpose at the moment. So, yeah, it'd be nice to get it sorted. There we go. So, I will put this gearbox back in the chassis. Um, I will show how to do that, and then I'll just, you know, that'll be it. Um, can I use it? No, I haven't got the stuff up here, have I? The radio-controlled stuff. i got a receiver. I don't think I've got a controller up here to try and Sorry, I'm not even showing this on camera. So there we go, the gearbox is fixed. So all you have to do to put it back in the chassis, as I bring the chassis over, there we go, there's our chassis. A lot of wires about because I was, um, I fitted a servo and I fitted the ESC where they're supposed to go. Um, this will be turned into a six wheeler. So the chassis, like I said, it's got to be a complete rebuild. Um, we need this drive shaft now. Here's the drive shaft, the prop, whatever you want to call it. I just call it the drive shaft, it's probably not the right name for it, but hey. And you've got to get that down like that whilst trying to get it into the rear axle. This is where it becomes, yeah quite hard to do especially when you got all wires getting in the way <laughs> get out the way get out the way there we go um, so what I'm going to do is oh, how easy this is I don't know um, ah that's why I've got a bit of battery case in underneath um, Right, I've finished uh, placing the gearbox motor back in the uh, Volvo FH12 and I thought, wow, I've put the stuff in it, uh, the receiver and the ESC, so I'll go and get the controller a bit quick and to finish this video off I will show you it running. So let's do that. Um, I'm using my code controller. This is the one I use with my RC cars. This is a simple four channel. Don't need anything more for an RC car. Um, but let's have a look. So this is the standard to my motor in here. Make sure the, ste oh, the steering's back to front, but I can live with that. Um, but yeah, seems to be working okay. It's a bit loud. Um, let's just see how fast it can go. 
Yeah, it has some speed. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'll be putting the poison motor in. Oh, I crashed it. No finesse whatsoever. But yeah, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video on, you know, taking a look at the gearbox, sorting the problem out. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to call the video. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, please subscribe. And hopefully we'll have more on this lovely Volvo soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.